Hello everybody, my name's Dave, thanks for joining me and welcome. I thought, as I'm not making many videos, I'd make a quick coming soon video, a bit of a news update. My wife is at home, she's been a pain, just as I expected. I, I actually do sympathise with her, and it, with the exception of not listening to me. So what happened? Well, I panicked to buy son's car, like you've seen on countless videos. We had been to the supermarket. Fortunately, I had put the groceries on my side, otherwise they had may have gone down the hill also. The last thing I said to her was, go around the front of the car. She completely ignored me, went around the back and slipped on the driveway. I ran to her aid and her foot was the wrong way around. And they heard her in the house and came out to assist. My daughter-in-law, my two sons and our daughter were all home, thank goodness, and we were all trying to stop her sliding down the driveway. We had to wait for the ambulance and they said around 35 minutes. When it got to an hour and 10 minutes we ran back and they were desperately trying to find excuses. I heard my daughter-in-law say, it's okay but don't make a time if you cannot stick to it. 15 minutes later an ambulance turned up and immediately cut off her shoe, which were two weeks old and cost us $256. Which I wasn't impressed about as you can imagine. The paramedics took her to Daninal Hospital and I drove there afterwards, meet her in an emergency where I found her lecturing all the nurses on what to do. They told us that the brake was misaligned, so they were going to put her to sleep, realign the brake, then put a leg in plaster. I left her room with her bossing the nurses and the doctors before they put her to sleep for some peace and quiet. When I went back, she was drowsy and her leg was in plaster. I told her she was going home because there was nothing more I could do and I was in the way. And they told me she was just going to go in, in one of the rooms for the night anyway. But she had surgery on Thursday and I picked her up and brought her home on the Friday. She's doing okay, although she thanks everyone for asking how she was. Just to clarify, my wife is a midwifery educator. She was telling people when they were doing things wrong. I don't suppose that that inhaler that the uh, paramedics gave her for the pain had anything to do with her rambling on about <laughs> stuff. Anyway. So what's in the news? What's coming up soon? Well, well, there's a trip to Cairns planned next year, sometime around March, April. We're going with Louis in the Pajero and Alex in his Jeep. Not sure of the dates yet, but I will be filming it, the trip if it goes ahead. Now, I can't ask anybody to come with us because we're staying with Alex's grandfather in, in Cairns or somewhere near Cairns. So I, I, I'm not got ability to do that. But I'll keep you updated with the dates, etc. and what we're going to do. Ceramic brake pads. Now, I've never had ceramic brake pads before. I'm told that they're pretty good and you can use them on steel. So I'm going to try them in the front and rear. I've ordered some and I'm waiting for them to arrive. I'll be fitting them and uploading the video. I may split it into two videos. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how that goes. The reason being is I'm going to lubricate the slide pins as well. And last time it took forever to get them apart. I'm hoping they're going to be okay. I'm going to be fitting the touch panel. I've got to bought myself a uh, King's touch panel switch system. And I'll be fitting it in the next few weeks. The idea is to fit a couple of work lights and switch everything from the back of the car. And finally, stickers. I have a feel-good picture that was sent to me by someone in Queensland. Hopefully you'll like the picture. And after that, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for listening to me. Bye now.